Welcome back to Symphony of Thursday Night. I am your host, Alex, also known as Solanus Dracoon. And we're picking up after having just downed Scylla with our uh, snazzy new emulator, and this will be the last time we mention it, RetroArch, which has already proven itself to be very good. There is something funny about this wall. And the fairy does her job. If you cut out the floor here, you find a secret area full of frozen shades. Now, down here, we can't really do much, because the water hurts us, remember. So, we're going to have to travel across the underground areas here to find the Holy Snorkel, called the Holy Symbol in this game. I have been just slam beset by Konami on the, uh, on the musical content in my videos, so this is going to be fun. Might as well, while I'm here, go in and grab that uh, missing bit of the map. Now that I'm not worried about the water filling up quite as much. Makes a funky little sound. Get the resist ice, which is okay. Keep forgetting I've got double jump now. Yeah, we, we found all the stuff up there, so that's fine. And here we find the scimitar. Let's see how the scimitar compares. Not too great. The Damascus sword is still going to be our number one for right now. So, enough talk have at you, etc. Let's go ahead and head back out. Here's where we fought the Scylla Worm. Time to head out to the left. Let me see, I've got pretty much everything I needed to from this general area. Toads. Nasty little bastards that just get in your way. Here we've got a nasty little cross-section of nothing but spear guys. As you can see, if we try to go through that, we are going to get skewered. But they give us a handy little thing to do here, which is push the box in, which blocks the water flow. And as you can see, they're all panicking. That's fun. What goofy little enemies, these frogs. Toads, in this case. They're our frog enemy. In here. Right there. But they're considerably smaller and faster, so they're very dangerous. We've got this wooden plank that we will have to deal with at some point. Yep. Try to, try to kill these guys before they get to you. Some nasty bastards in here. I mean, the toads, even the little frogs are the size of small dogs here, so yeah. Now, this is a pretty cool little spot. The waterfall. And because we have form of bat, we can just easily slide on up here. And you can see that they demonstrate here that a uh, skeleton ape throwing his barrel will destroy those uh, planks. So let's see how the iron shield stacks up with the herald shield. Herald shield is better. And every time we get a new shield, it's time to bust out the shield rod and see what it does. So, shield rod. Oh my. Protection from fire and thunder. That's pretty cool. And we got a naked lady, which is also nice. And the herald shield looks kind of fun. It's actually got an effect where if you block with it, then you will uh, be able to get hearts. So that's a nice effect. We've still got further business down here, though. We're not going to go break out that bridge just yet. Things are getting pretty icy, though, as you can see. And there's even ice coating the water, so... Really nice atmosphere they set up here. They drive home, you're in a cold part of the castle. Just naked ladies everywhere. 
Now, up here is a shortcut. And the CD tunnels no longer do the thing. So this is more or less the entrance to the castle, and this is a shortcut that we've opened up. So that's good. I'm thinking, since we're in this general direction, we also might as well take advantage of what's out here. Form a bat our way on up to this. And I don't think there's much out here, but it's, it's worth going in. Gorka, very easily taken care of with the holy water. As well as Blade. Very nice. We've got pretty much almost all the uh, secret stuff opened up to us at this point. I'm not sure why there's a save point here. I don't think there's any bosses in the area, but hey. Do what thou must. Holy mail. What good is that? Strong versus holy attacks, but not any better for defense. But it's still a nice little item to have just in case you fight somebody who has holy attributes. Which I think the only person in this game that would have any holy attributes would be Richter. He flings his sword. I like that. Don't give them a chance to swing. When they have a chance to line up a shot, you lose. Zombies. Can't really do anything here. Yeah, you gotta get power of wolf and all that jazz before you can make the wolf be of any use. When, when you get all that stuff, he is pretty darn powerful. We're just coming out here to round out our map. Oh, owl dude. It'll all be over quickly. So just fly upward. And power of wolf, there we go. And a life max up, don't forget that. Oh, we did not get the top left corner. Silly, silly us. Alright. Now, now that we've got power of wolf, what that allows us to do is it charges up our charge, so we get a good run up here. And we'll just bust through everything. Now this will destroy your mana. So just letting you know about that. That's all we came out here for, just to get those little goodies while we were in the area. Technically a lot of the castle is already open to us. But, you know, we gotta keep on with our mission. We gotta go get the Holy Snorkel. Oh, I missed that. Shiitakes. Very rare, the shiitake. And then this character. I'll take you to a place which might be interesting for you. <laughs> yeah. Don't lay it on thick or anything, bro. I like to be the wolf in this one just because I think it's entertaining that a wolf is sitting at the helm. The ferryman. Nice little uh, hoist mechanism he's got going on here. Clearly an established member of the castle. And that puts us where we want to be. Or roughly, you know, close to it. Merman statue. Ah, okay. Now what does the merman statue allow? Summons the oarsman. Well, we just dealt with the oarsman, but we kind of have to come and get this because that'll activate the other oarsman that was all the way across the damn thing, so 
yeah, it's a bit of a fail. No big deal, though. Alucard's enjoying the ride. Ow. Pushed out of wolf form by a flipping bat. Obviously, the fairy doesn't seem bothered by any of this. It's like, this is not what I'm getting paid for. I don't care. All of this. It is unavoidable, too. You had to go get the merman statue in order to get the holy snorkel. So, you know. Let's go ahead and check out what's under the waterfall. Piss off, Frozen Shade. I want my life max up. There's another item that, unfortunately, you can't get to just yet. You need the holy snorkel to reach it, but right behind the waterfall is some stuff. Might as well get some mushrooms. Good badgers always get mushrooms. Those are some, some boots there, which I don't know, I might be able to get at. Let me see if I can kind of force my way in there. Yep. The secret boots. These are a laugh. Discreetly increases height. They misspelled discreetly. So, theoretically, we look a little bit taller. That's just, you know, no point to that, really. Can't quite get over to get all the parts, but that's okay. We're going to be coming back through here again later on, just to round out the map. Just look that much taller. Let's see if we can get Dark Metamorphosis going. That way blood nourishes us. Now that lever that we pushed earlier released a skeleton ape in this area, that one we just killed. And there's nothing we can do with it for from this particular direction. But if we leave the room and come back, that will respawn the skeleton. Will you die? just need to entice him to come a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Just a little bit closer. And a tiny bit closer. And that opens up this area. And once he's done that, it's open for good. And that leads down further into the palace, but we're still not done in this particular neck of the woods. <laughs> Ah, oh, wow, that frog jumped. Amazing that frogs can jump, don't you think? Not worried about the toad. Big beefy toads. Imagine feeding someone on that. You could feed a whole village for a week. Alright. Might as well go save, since we're in this general neck of the woods. Alright. Back down to the secret passage. that weird noise they make. And here is summoned the second ferryman. I'll guide you to meet your destiny! <laughs> Creepy. So you kind of want to stay uh, crouched down because this part right here will knock you off the boat. I like that little translucent effect that Alucard's cloak has at the moment. I think it's nifty. Yeah, I saw the onyx. We'll be back for it. We'll be coming back this way, don't you worry. If you just stay ducked down, then there's nothing the bats can really do to you. And that actually opens the door, so even if you did try and come through here without the merman statue, you'd still have been blocked by that door. Got 
water still damages us. Vampires can't cross water. Now we got the Holy Snorkel. This means water is no longer a problem for us. See? Walk around in it to your heart's content. Yeah, you can shove off, bro. I got this. So now we're just here to uh, map out the bottom areas of the castle. Yep, yep. It's not a whole heck of a lot in the water here, but every extra little bit of map that we uncover not only increases our game percentage completion, but it also means that if we ever do get the walk armor, which we will eventually, that it will be technically the most powerful armor in the game. So, a couple of reasons there to do this. Of course, Alucard rock walks his slow-ass walk. Okay, I probably should have just turned the form of bat there. There we go, Onyx. Good times. Onyx does not upgrade to Steelix. That's a lie. Perpetrated by the Pokemedia. Life max up is always appreciated. And the ferryman's just like, well, shit. Knuckle Duster. A fun little weapon. Just really a pair of brass knuckles. Iron studded brass knuckles. Very, very, very deep downgrade to our equipment. The Damascus sword is actually going to serve us for a decent chunk of time. Ow, 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 ow. So, obviously, we are going to go and finish out that other half of the uh, underground caverns waterway at the very least. And then we'll double back around and head into uh, slightly deeper territory. Right now we're just gathering some goodies. And now that water doesn't bother us, we can just head on under here and fight these fish heads, which are really nothing more than dragon skulls that look like fish. Ow! Wow, that's a long amount of launch. Remember, you are not in control of yourself while on your water. And this gets you a Nunchaku, which that's a fun little weapon too. Let's try it out for a bit. It's a two-handed weapon, but, you know, why not? I'll stick with the Damascus sword for now, thanks. All right, sort out our list, and let's just go bitty shopping. Again, I know this, uh, this episode's probably going to get blocked in Germany because of the musical content, so see my uh, channel announcements video for information on folks who live under Gemma's cruel regime. I'm not going to be able to do much until some of my other uh, disputes go through. So, you know, just do your best to try and watch if you can. I am sorry if I do get blocked and you're not able to view this video in German. up always a pleasure and soul steel just to cheese it my favorite spell you guys know this by now we'll come back here Frog just is on its own little path that doesn't really care. God, I hate these frogs. Get our 
ourselves a pentagram. And we might be able to just manage to get under the waterfall without taking harm. Interesting, we still missed that part up there. And unfortunately we cannot cannot be a bat behind the waterfall, so we'll have to figure out a way up there. How do I get the heck up there? this at least. Just come out here. Nothing down here. Okay, let's try to skirt the waterfall just enough to get our upwards boost. And we don't quite have it yet. That's a tricky little spot. Up, 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 up. That did it. Alright, that did it. Good, good, good. Did we miss a flipping spot? We missed a flipping spot on the west side of the map up there. We'll have to come back to it. We'll be doing a, uh, a little bit of a cleanup episode, maybe. Possibly an off-camera episode. But it's nice to see the goodies that are available. So if I run into anything interesting, you guys will get to see that. If I'm just going through fine-tuning to get the map coverage, then, you know, I don't need to show every last instance of that. Yeah, yeah. Nice source of gold there. Always respawns, of course. There's an even better source of gold up there. 2,000 gold, and that infinitely respawns every time you come back into the area. That's always there, so that's a not terrible source of money. That being said, there's not a whole hell of a lot you need money for in this game. And a killer fish. Because why not with a killer fish? And he's not really guarding anything either. There's absolutely no point to this particular area. Ruby. So now we can go ahead and start to head back and go into some of the deeper portions of the castle. Interesting, we step on that ourselves and it goes up. Thank you. Damn it, bat. Boy, all this machinery. Just walk our stupid way back. Pretty peaceful. I do like the music. Nothing much to say, really. It's just the waterfall. Coming into my earphones in quite a nice little stereo effect, really. I hear it on the right side, rather than on the left. Cut across this room full of the frogs, and we will uh, find our way into the catacombs. Got all these frogs. Ugh. Pain in the ass. Alright, what's this part called then? Abandoned mine. Ooh. Yep. There's some dreary ass music going on in here. And a save point, so we should know what's up as well as, you know, 
giant wolf head door with its jaws wide open. So gosh, I wonder what's ahead of us. Look at all the satanic imagery. And of course it's a boss. It's Cerberus. Let's see how fast we can wreck him. Just like that, holy water is OTT. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice architecture, little naked ladies holding up the platforms, I like. Funny that the track skips a beat there. Now there's a switch up there, and you need the goblin card in order to actually get at it, so we don't have that at the moment. I'm sure we'll get that as we go through the game. And as we all know, since there are two palaces, this one and the reverse palace, there are two switches. So everything that's in the reverse palace is more or less cloned in this one. Or cloned from this one. There's nasty little remnants and suddenly things aren't of any use anymore. Ow. The demon card. There you go. So for the moment, we'll switch out for the demon card, which summons the devil familiar. Hello. Not gonna say anything? No? Okay. So that's cool, we got the devil card sooner rather than later. And this guy, he'll flap around and, you know, help us out a little bit. He'll stab at the enemies randomly. That's not what he's here for. We just want to open this switch. Hmm, a switch! Why don't I press it and see? Okay. <laughs> what does this button do? Well, that's all I needed you for, buddy. Send me my fairy back. Bomb on down here with your legs spread out. Some very interesting enemies in this area. Corpse weed, thorn weed. It's thorn weed until it turns into corpse weed. The regular thorn weed is a darker color. Here we got it. Venus weed. She's desperately trying to cover her naked body. Not much that it's helping her. Here we got the Ring of Ares, which is actually going to be better than our secret boots because it confers the strength of 24 men. Yes, raises our attack by 24. Yes. That is a very good thing. And then Peanuts and the Power of Sire. And that's kind of... Well, I shouldn't say that's kind of more or less it, because there is a bit more, but... Uh, you know. God, I'm just wrecking so much shit with the holy water. I should get my hearts up a little bit more. down to 14 hearts, and that's not good. Let's see if we can bait her into doing some magic at us. Oh, not a good idea. Screw you, Salem Witch. What are you doing in Transylvania? In the 1600s, no less. God, I hate these enemies. We can block out those little flames with our shield, and those do turn into hearts, which can help. And here we find the snake door, which I believe is the last of the big temple doors. The big gate things. You 
use these flames to replenish our hearts just a bit. Not worried about shrooms. Karma coin and a combat knife. Let's see what the combat knife's all about. Flat combat dagger. Even more attack than what we have now? Yeah, I think so. Just kind of like the Basilard, really. I think I'll use it. It's nice and quick. And now, we drop into, officially, the Catacombs. Yay. No, I don't want that. I like holy water. And we will get into the catacombs in the next episode because we are at just about a little over 30 minutes now. And again, I'm trying to pace myself. So thank you all very much for watching. Once again, I am Alex, also known as Solonis Dracon, and this has been Symphony of Thursday Night. Thank you very much, and good night.